Hello everybody and welcome to another Beyond a Reason video. Uh, today we're looking at the scenario TikTok on the Speed Metal map. This has some special uh, things on it which we'll go through momentarily. Um, it's called TikTok because the enemy has several behemoths bearing down on us through the middle of the map. Uh, so we need to be as quick as possible uh, to kill the enemy commander to stop them coming at us. Now there are a couple of different methods you can do for this. You can try and degun uh, the tech free that's walking towards us or you can try and snipe the enemy commander. What we're going to attempt to do today is we are going to attempt to snipe the enemy commander. Now, as we can see on the map, four tech three have left our spawn, their spawn point on the far right side of the map. And we are going to try and get as quick as we can to tech two. Now, speed metal map, what is it? Well, it's a special map uh, that's uh, got a lane through the middle. Um, the metal points on this map is the entire map is metal, uh, which means you can build metal extractors anywhere. Also on top of that, wind is 30, so wind is very strong. Um, and the movement speed of all units is also increased. So that's something we need to keep in mind. Um, those tech three are not gonna take as long to cross the middle as we think. Now. If we're going to try and stop commander, you might be asking yourself, well, why have you gone back to port factory? Well, metal for us is not a problem, right? We're on a metal map, so getting metal is super quick. Now, we need to try and be as efficient as possible. Uh, and so what we're doing is we're straight away only going one engineer and we're building a construction turret. Our issue is going to be energy, right? Because we're already producing 33 metal from just a single metal point. So we need to get energy up as quick as possible. Now, building wind uh, is time consuming because you've got so many individual winds that you need to build. But also on top of that, uh, it takes energy to build. So using the excess metal we have right now, I am building some Tech 1 solars and we're also investing the energy that we have into building an advanced solar. Now, also the reason why we only have one engineer at this point is again because we are limited on power. We don't want to be spending more power on our um, engineer building than what we need. As we can see here, we've got proximity cameras in the enemy base so we can see what, what they're up to. And here we're just going to try and rush out some of these advanced solars before we go ahead and start building other things. Now our energy we see there with both of them working was minus 500. Now we're starting to get a bit better so we can probably push out an extra engineer at this point. And we need to be quick at this, okay? So we can't be wasting time. So we're instantly going to go straight to an air factory. Um, now, again, normally you would reclaim the bot lab because you need the metal. But like I said, this map, metal is not a problem. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. We've got as much metal as we need. Um, now, in terms of... We're wasting metal right now, so we're trying to get some construction turrets up. And you see me queuing up a bunch of things with my commander there. Um, in other attempts I've had with this, the enemy will build fighters and they'll also get some scouts and stuff past the middle laser tower. So I'm just kind of getting some form of defensive stuff there to try and um, make sure we're safe a bit. Now our plan is to get to Tech 2 air. We're going to use Tech 1 scouts and probably some Tech 1 fighters to screen in front of the bombers. And we are going to build atomic bombers uh, from Tech 2. Now, atomic bombers are expensive. They're very, very expensive. However, uh, they drop one bomb, uh, which is kind of a good thing because it means that, you know, you're just going to hit your target and that's it, right? Um, and with the normal bombers, they bomb in a line, which means if you miss your angle or something like that and it just moves to the side, it's not as reliable. Also, atomic bombers... Uh, do a lot of damage um, so to kill a commander we're only going to need two atomic bombers um, we may get a third one in our one like our force just to kind of be safe um, but it depends on where the tech 3 is at the moment we've been quite lucky as the tech 3 doesn't seem to have actually left the enemy base 
So we still have an energy problems now, but we are building a tech two uh, factory. So that's kind of expected. Um, we're gonna just try and use this excess metal we've got and build more solars. Again, not the best energy option here. Um, ideally, a bunch of winds would be a better investment because of the 30 power in the wind. Um, but again, our issue is um, that we have excess metal and not enough. And we very briefly run out of metal here. Um, so I just quickly build an additional metal extractor and now we don't have any problems. And as we go back to building the aircraft, we're going to build an extra mechs there just because we're actually hitting that mark. Now we've just heard aircraft spotted, so we are definitely going to need some fighters and that air defense that we've got set up already should help us. We're going to get a Tech 2 Engineer up and we're going to be a little bit greedy here. We're going to get a Tech 2 Engineer up and we're going to build a fusion power plant. Now the reason for that is that atomic bombers use a lot of power to build. So I'm hoping that this fusion will solve our energy issues and then we just can pump out um, atomic bombers with no problem. Um, this is quite a good map in a way uh, for practicing your ecoing um, because the better you can eco uh, and like micromanage what you're, you've got coming in, the quicker you will be able to do this scenario. Um, so if you're going for the same like objective of atomic bombers uh, to snipe the commander and as well as some stuff. The better you can micromanage this stuff, so say for example you did an energy stall when I did, you didn't run out of metal briefly when I did and you're better at managing that, you'll definitely be able to shave off a few minutes or so off of your time. Um, I know that some players don't like to go for the snipe here, they like to go for the... Um, they like to go for the com uh, and degunning and the best way of doing that is to use your bot factory to get a load of scouts and have them like zigzag around um, and move your commander forward and like stealth him and then the t3 will spread out a bit and then you can use your degun and hopefully your commander will stay out of range um, the issue is is if you miss them then they're going to get past you and uh but the best place is to do it in the middle where you've got room to move around you don't want to do it in the alleyway uh if you do it in the alleyway then you don't really have room to ju dodge uh the tech freeze d gun like fake d gun but it still does a lot of damage two, two unit detected. and they have tech two now as well and there we go it's a fighter that's just come across that could have killed our engineers and our first atomic bomber is done at seven minutes now not the best time and we're still having energy issues here as you can see as we're trying to push out more um, construction turrets but uh, we've basically stopped building only for now so we're going to try and get another fusion here to kind of help with our energy issues if we can solve our energy issues then we're going to be able to pump stuff out really quickly with the build power we've got as you can see it's taking uh, 20 seconds or so and we started getting too much energy backlog, so then I pumped it into the atomic bomber and then went back to the fusion. Um, and there we go again to try and use some of that back across again. And now we have two atomic bombers. So in theory, what we have should be enough, but it's a bit unsure. We're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna hotkey uh, these units here. So do groups one and two. And then we'll see what we can do. Let's we'll see if we can see the enemy commander. We can there. He's just on the south side. And we're just starting to get some fighters out, which we are hotkeying into the same group as the scouts. Now, when we fly over this base, uh, we're going to want to make sure that the bombers aren't too far behind the scouts because we don't want the... Well, the, all the bombers, the, all the scouts and stuff to get shot down and then the bombers like have nothing to shield them. Um, and here is a bit of an issue as you can see all of our scouts are getting shot down by the two fighters. 
And so it's now way too late for those uh, bombers to go ahead. And so we pull our scouts back. Now they are going to all get killed. And we pull our bombers back here as well as we've got some more scouts coming out. Now this hasn't gone great, but we can see the enemy commander. I'm going to just tell our units to move to that position. Now our fighters are kind of shooting the enemy fighters in front of us. We do not have a big enough fighter screen at this point or scout screen or anything like that. So that was a bit of a iffy moment. Uh, and as you see, we've lost all our units before then. But that was good that we had that one extra. But the bombs go off. And there we go. That's the end of the scenario. So, again, like I said, great map to practice your eco in. Um, so give it a shot. Um, I found that an easier way than the degun approach. But both methods work perfectly fine. At the end of the day, all you've got to do is kill that commander. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.